what's up YouTube I'm calling you from my backyard uh beautiful down here huh whoa what's that got a little solar going on huh? a little solar project so I wanted to give you a scenario so the yesterday it was myself and Caleb we only have four bays and every bay's busy every bay has a job that the customer approved the job on and we're all working in the bay and then we have a lady pull up in the middle of the parking lot um, because there's really no parking because there's other cars that still need to come into the shop that are in line. And then she comes in and she wasn't very pleasant with Rachel and said, I was at Mill Street Tire, which is another shop not far from us in Moorestown, I believe. And they do the same, basically the same repair as we do. They do tires, brakes, front end, check engine light, exhaust work, blah, 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 blah. If they didn't do exhaust work, right, then they would send me more of it, which they send me zero. So there's more than one reason on why they didn't do the job for the lady. So the words out of her mouth are is that Mill Street Tire sent me here, um, and they said I don't need a catalytic converter. Well, that's a red flag already. So, and it's probably a 20-year-old Toyota. Um so why didn't the other shop obviously it's her there that shop is the place that she goes to get her car fixed right mill street tire but they referred her to me well what can i do for her that they can i, I bet you there's many things so rachel's like hey we're busy she's like you just can't check it out i don't need a catalytic converter but you know there's something wrong with my exhaust so we're just like, hey, everybody's the shop's busy, you know, all bays are going with repairs. Um, you know, I can't get you in right now. Can you leave it with us? And you know, we'll get to it some point in time today and get an answer for you and tell you what it's gonna cost to fix it. No, I don't leave my car anywhere. Wow, how about that? You leave your car nowhere. Well, there's gonna be a point in time where you need to leave your car somewhere. And this happens a lot at the shop. So Rachel comes back out to me. She goes, you won't look at this lady's car? I said, I'm going to tell you what, Rachel. One through four bays all approved. They're, they're all paying jobs. You want me to put back together one of these cars, back the car out of the shop, bring the car in just to look at this lady's car without the promise of her getting her car fixed. And remember, she already said the other shop said she didn't need a catalytic converter. I said, so this story is starting to stink for me. If that's your regular place, there's a reason why they're not doing it for you. It's not because they can't, okay? It's not because they can't do the exhaust job. So I said, well, if this lady's serious about wanting to get her car fixed, I said, tell her it's going to cost her $90 for us to bring her car in, check it out, find out what's wrong with it, and come up with a solution for her. And I said, but I have to back out a job that's already in progress, a customer approved, that we need to finish. She goes, oh, well, let me go up there and ask her. So Rachel goes out, goes up front and says, hey, Anthony said, no problem. He would check your car out, but he's got to back out another car in the shop that's already in progress. And if you want that to happen, it's going to cost you $90 for us to, 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 to get, you, get you in. You don't want to drop it off. You don't want to leave the car. Blah, 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 blah. The other shop already said you don't need a catalytic converter. So nobody knows what you need, but you, you want an answer from us. So I said, well, let her put her money where her mouth is. You, you want to get in? You want, you want the best place to get your car fixed for exhaust and many other things? Well, that would be my shop. Nope. Took the defense. Why do I have to pay? Well, when I go to a dealership, um, they put that towards the repairs. And Rachel's like, no, not, that's not happening here. We're not going to do that. And then, you know, stormed off and on her way. What crap do we have to deal with all the time? You can't tell me she goes to the dealership and they say that you can wait for a recall or heavy engine repair they're gonna tell your butt that you need to drop the car off and we don't care how you drop your car off but you're not sitting here and waiting and, and bothering us the whole entire time while we're working on your car <laughs> uh somebody did say something the other day about you don't have people waiting on your car waiting in your waiting rooms the way that things go into in the auto repair business today why would you want anyone waiting in your base with the crap that we have to deal with, with the seas, the rust, the parts are wrong, the parts are defective. You know, why would I want to interrupt somebody's day like that? They need to schedule time to put their car down, right? 
and step away from their car and leave it with the service provider. And then while they're home social media, taking care of their kids or working, they can rest assured that the shop is taking care of the car and we're going to call them if there's a problem and we're going to call them when it's finished. That's how it works. You know, you have to put your car down for service. So, so this, this lady wanted that type of service. She didn't want to spend the money at the other shop because I'm going to tell you what the story is. It's a 20-year-old Toyota Camry or an Avalon. In my experience, the flex pipe's probably rusted out. The rear converter flange is probably rusted out. And the flange at the back muffler is rusted out. And it technically needs an entire system. That's probably what they told her. And this happens at many other shops is that, hey, all we can do is replace everything. And then it's two grand or three grand or 1500 or whatever the case is. But if you don't like that, Mr. and Mr. Customer, go to Meineke Cinnamonson because there's things that they can do that we cannot do to save you money. Well, they put that seed in her head, but you don't need a catalytic converter. They shouldn't tell her anything. You should say, this is what's wrong with your car. It needs an entire system, and this is what it costs. And if you can't afford to do that, we don't have any other solutions for you. You need to go see an exhaust expert and find out what they can do for you. And usually it would be way less if they would have just came to me first. Someone also said, Doesn't, don't muffler shops make exhaust systems? I use my discretion when I look at a vehicle, depending on the age and you know what's going on with it. Uh, if the exhaust system is the only thing that this car needs, then maybe they might want to entertain putting on direct fit parts. Most of the time, I will tell you, it's not that case in my base. We are making or fabricating are using universal products to make them an exhaust system to reduce the cost for customer. And then that expands our our catalog, right? So if I have all raw materials, I can make just about anything for any vehicle, almost. We can't cover everything, but we can pretty much do anything with universal exhaust parts. Not everybody knows the difference. I have to explain that to some people. And then some people don't care. They come in with the, uh, I just need a weld, I just need, you know, some tape or a hanger or, you know, hang it back up, you know, <laughs> there's some ex expectations of what's in the customer's mind and then what's in my mind on fixing their car. And hanging your exhaust system back up when it fell off is not, you know, that's not the kind of stuff that I, want, that I want to do. But my point is, I want it now, I want it now, I want it now, I want you to look at it, I want you to tell me, but then when I ask you to pay me, and you're like, oh, well... If you weren't willing to pay $90, were, what were you willing to pay to get your car fixed? I mean, if you want to get in the fast lane, right? So if you're at the amusement park and you want a speed pass, what does a speed pass cost? That gets you in the front of the line. And that necessarily don't get you in the front of the line because there's only 100 other speed pass people that you're in line with. You're just not in 3,000, 3,000th person in line waiting to get on a ride all day long. You know, so... I look at it that way. I mean, if you're insisting that you have to get in right now and I have to stop another job, right? You're going to pay. That make, only makes sense. And then you make a decision. Well, well, I don't want to pay. You didn't want to pay at the other shop because I, I assure you they gave you a price. Um, they had to because they're in business to make money and fix cars. So if they didn't, then why are they in business? They're not in business to send you to Meineke Cinnamonson to get your car fixed. That's for sure. Um, who wants to risk losing a customer? Um, but then, you know, when you want a speed pass, you don't want to pay. I just had to chuckle. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. Um, have a nice night.